Okay, I've got a piece of paduk and a piece of oak, about the same thickness. Put one on top of the other. I've marked the centre of the piece. I'll draw a circle. It's going to be the outer diameter, a little bit big, outer diameter of the bowl. There we go. Now, all I need to do is some squiggly lines. They can be pretty random as long as they're not too sharp because the bandsaw might struggle a bit. But I don't want to keep them too even because I do want to make it look a little bit different so I'm keeping them tighter at the top and wider at the bottom here. do the reverse on this side. They do need to go through to the end as well. do now, I'm just waiting for the hot glue gun to heat up, um, I'm going to cut through with the bandsaw through both pieces at once but I don't want them falling apart as I'm cutting so I'm going to hot glue a strip across there and across here <coughs> uh, that will so it will hold it together while I'm doing the bandsaw cuts. Obviously each piece that I cut off will pop off but the rest will hold together and um, hopefully if the bandsaw is set nice and vertically well, we'll see what will happen later on. I'll just wait for the hot glue to warm up. It's quite cool out here today so I just warmed the pieces up a little bit with the hot air gun. Right, so I need to be fairly quick with this. glue there and there so as we cut through it it'll just come off one at a time hopefully pieces. It should fit together quite snugly because it's only the thickness of the blade. It's been taken off. 
Okay, back from the bandsaw. What we've got to do now is separate the pieces. I've just got a thin uh, paint scraper and just put it in the gap and just force it down to separate the glue joint. There. Right. So now the idea is to uh, separate the two and take the first two and then as they come across alternate them. So that one goes there, that one goes there, that one there, there. should all still fit perfectly. We've still got a bit of glue kicking about so it's just kicking them up but when you actually, you can see with that one there, when you actually put them together it's a really nice tight fit because the, the, the bandsaw went straight through two pieces. So I think the advantage for this one this method, at least, is that um, is that you're going to finish up with two bowls. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to glue these together. I'm going to glue them off camera because, um, well, everybody's seen glue ups. Um, so I'll, I'll glue them up and and flatten the face up just to um, just to get it ready for the um, for the turning part. Okay, so. I've smoothed off the surface. Hopefully you can see there the joints are really good and it's the same on both pieces. Uh, that's the other one. This one's not uh, finished off yet but uh, you can see how the joints are really tight. Come together really well. Um, what I've done is I've uh, made a little uh, oak block for the, uh, for the base. I've put a, a rebate in so that it fits on the uh, on the chuck. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I've done here. I've I've drawn a circle on the face. Um, I found the centre using the uh, tailstock. Um, I've drawn a circle that's the same diameter as the piece of oak on the back. Now, what I need to do is the thickness of the wood, I've drawn a square line across you can see that, yep, I've drawn a square line across here and I've come across here at a 45 degree angle and the distance from there to there is the um, is the amount that I need to come out each time I cut a new circle but there's also the thickness of my parting tool to take into account which is two and a half mil. So I've also got to add um, the thickness of the parting tool. So it's it's that um, size plus the parting tool that I need to come out with each circle from the center. And, uh, and that gives me um, where are we? Ten. Thirteen millimeters. So each cent circle needs to come out thirteen millimeters from from that one. Okay, I uh, took it over to the bandsaw and just knocked, roughly knocked it off, off the uh, corners, just to save a little bit of work.
Okay. See, I've just gone slightly undercut that so it won't actually come off, it's only a fraction. But what I need to do is just reduce the size of that slightly so that this will slip over the bag. So three pieces. All right, let's see if they fit together. Okay, so that's the that's the top ring. That one should fit on there, and then that one onto there. Um, They should also line up, which they do. That is very close there. It's going to be very thin, miscalculated. But we'll give it a go. Anyway, we'll get it glued together and uh, see whether it's uh, thick enough um, to, uh, to hold. Okay, the, uh, it's dried. It's very thin just, just there, so I'm not sure whether it'll work or not, but I'm going to turn it. I'll start turning the back, I'll move the camera around, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'll, it's going to be very thin. Okay.
Okay, I think I'm going to start sanding. Um, I'll use uh, I'll use one of these, and I'll sand from uh, what is it? One twenty down to three twenty. I'll come back when it's sanded. Okay, it's sanded to 320. I'm not going to stop it, so I've seen it. And, uh, I'm going to just get, get it with a bit of polish on before I'll let you have a look. So I'm putting some abrasive paste on. Microcrystalline wax. And there we have it. It's not perfect. The uh, joints are just showing up a little bit. Seems to have gone dark where the glue is, but um, to be honest, it was only really a an experiment to see how it worked. But uh, actually, it's quite nice. Anyway, I'll take it off the lathe and show it to you. Okay, so there we have it. Um, Paduk and oak um, twisted bowl. Um, yeah, I'm real pleased with the way it turned out. It's not perfect by any means. You can see the, you can see the joints a little bit, and they slightly misaligned. Um, but uh, to be honest, I, it was just an experiment more than it was to get a finished bowl. Um, I've got an oak base on it, uh, nice and simple, and uh, and basically, I mean, they're just very small pieces of wood um, and it's it's very economical on the wood because you're wasting very little and uh, yeah I think it's quite effective I like the paduk and oak as well I've done paduk and uh, ash before and uh, I like that but the paduk just tend to run into the ash when you're sanding it the colour seems to migrate into the ash a little bit and it does so less with the oak and the, uh, the combination I think is a, a lot more subtle but, uh, but yeah it's got a nice shine on it um, and it's really thin um, my mistake uh, actually turned out to kind of help me because I, I don't tend to do thin bowls but it, it, it forced me into doing a very thin um, sides on the bowl and it's, it's really nice so there you go. Uh, it worked out quite successfully. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, we've got a visitor. I don't think we've seen seen Ivy for a while, but uh, she's grown up a bit. <laughs> oh, the, the battery just ran out, uh, and she's gone now. But uh, yeah, the um, the idea for this one, um, I saw Gary from the Papa, nineteen forty seven. Um, making one uh, a, a lot bigger than this but uh, he did he did some two and he's he did one on the CNC machine and the other um, with the use of a bandsaw uh, in a slightly different fashion um, uh, the way I the method that I used um, but I got it in my head that it had, it might work and well luckily it has worked very well so I uh, so I thought I'd um, have a go at it and 
put it out there in case anybody wants to have a go at it and well the beauty of this method is that you get you get two two cracks at it with uh, with you know sort of one lot of work so um, I think it's uh, yeah I think it's a, a good way of doing it anyway but there you go um, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up um, share it and um, if you if you're not a subscriber click on the subscribe button and the little notification bell I'll let you know that um, that I've got another video out and um, and it does help and please um, leave a comment I do enjoy the comments I read them all and I reply to them all and enjoy getting them so anyway from a no, it's, a, it's about 18 degrees outside. It's a fairly cool Cornwall, but uh, but quite nice. Uh, uh, my name's Andy Paramore. This is Andy's Cornish Creations, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.